Uh, thank you so much for this introduction. This was very generous and looked a lot more glamorous than I remember it. Um, this is also definitely the time when I wish that I had listened to my academic advisor and had taken that public speaking class, which I never took. I think Matt and Hillary may have taken advantage of that, and I did not. So good job, guys. Um, first of all, I would like to congratulate all of the inductees tonight. Um, it is a true privilege to be standing alongside all of you here. I would like to thank Jim Phillips and the Northwestern's Athletic Department for this recognition. I don't think I could have ever imagined that I would be standing here tonight, and I really am honored and humbled. Within a department, I would like to also specifically point out the person who is responsible for me being here tonight, and that's Northwestern's women's tennis head coach, Claire Pollard. Um, you see, Claire uh, took a chance on recruiting a Russian teenager without really knowing what she was getting herself into, and I'm forever thankful to her for that. Clara, thank you so much for putting up with my temper tantrums on and off the tennis court, many broken tennis rackets, and thank you for always being there for me and for always being honest and telling me the truth, even though I didn't always want to hear it. I also want to thank my wonderful teammates, who at this point have become like family to me. And lastly, I want to thank everybody else at Northwestern and beyond who supported our team during my four years and who continue to be a huge support network today. This include, includes Jackie Holden, Dave Mullen, Henry and Lee Beanan, Chris and Courtney Combe, my childhood tennis coaches, my tennis club back in Russia, Luzhniki, and many other people who I probably won't get to mention tonight. Unfortunately, my parents could not make it here today. They're far away in Russia, and I actually spent two hours on the phone with them today explaining what it means to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I don't think they quite get it yet. I will send them some pictures and some videos afterwards. But I'm forever thankful to them for believing in me and for supporting me despite being told numerous times that I'm too short, too slow, and too unathletic to ever be good at tennis. I'm also thankful to my parents for pushing me to explore colleges outside of Russia and for their honesty when they told me that I probably am a little too slow and too unathletic to turn pro after high school. So thanks, mom and dad. I remember my parents sending me to the tennis tournament in the middle of nowhere in Hungary to meet Claire for the first time. And the only words that my dad said to me at the airport were, do not mess this up. <laughs> no pressure, just don't mess this up. I like to think that I didn't, since I'm standing here. I think it worked out pretty well so far. Um, I have come a long way since my first day on campus. Almost exactly nine years ago, I went to my first football game. You see, my teammates asked me if I liked football, to which every European person says, of course, I love football, I would love to go to a game. The problem was that in my mind, football meant soccer. When we got to the stadium and I saw the football players running onto the field, all geared up, wearing padding and whatnot, I was convinced that this was a pregame show and that the game would begin shortly after. <laughs> Today, though, I have improved. I spend most of my Sundays watching American football. And believe it or not, I even managed to win a fantasy football league a few years ago. <laughs> a few months ago, as part of my application process to business schools, I reflected pretty heavily on my experience at Northwestern. It was funny to think how terrified I was to get on an initial flight from Moscow to Chicago. But by the time winter break came around, I was crying because I didn't want to leave. I wanted to stay forever. Northwestern really became my second home, and Claire and my teammates became my family. This self-reflection exercise also brought many stories to my mind about how my experience at Northwestern has shaped the person that I am today. I think I could probably stand here all day and give many examples of how Northwestern has impacted my life, but I will try to keep it brief. Katie said, five minutes, so I'll, I'll just share a few. <laughs> Northwestern taught me discipline. If you ask my coworkers, they will confirm that I'm always five minutes early to meetings, because to this day, I'm terrified that Claire will make me do sprints if I'm five minutes late. <laughs> Northwestern taught me to be selfless and how to be part of the team. I've made enduring relationships that will last a lifetime, and there will never be another group of girls that understands what's it like to hear that alarm go off at six in the morning and have to go run sprints uphill in 30 degree weather 
while it's raining. And most importantly, Northwestern introduced me to many new things that I never knew existed. And I'm not talking about beer pong and keg stands. Those were new to me too, but there were other things. I came in identifying as a tennis player, but by the time I graduated, I was a much better and a more well-rounded version of myself, both on and off the tennis court. So I don't think any words could ever describe the gratitude I feel towards Northwestern, but I sure hope that over the next decades and many years to come that I can give back to the school that has given so much to me. And I really hope that every student athlete that steps a foot on campus feels as proud as I am to be a Wildcat today. Go Cats.